bless the Lord. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'll tell you a good one on old Butterworth there, Brother Tommy. He's a chicken. You know that, don't you? He's a chicken. He stood across the road, throwed rocks at me and me a working over in my yard. Throwing rocks bouncing everywhere. And uh, uh, I'll tell you what. Good thing he's sitting on the front row. I don't believe I'd get up here if he wouldn't. <laughs> Melody's going to sing. What are you going to do, Melody? Where the angels sing. Oh, I am. When love is fair.
beat with joy as I knelt at the old country church. There was Jesus above and his wonderful love saved my soul at the old country church. Precious, precious years of memory. Sweet memories. Oh, what joy. Oh, Day, all the people would pray as they did at the old country church. If they'd only confess, Jesus surely would bless as he did at the old country church. Jesus, here's our memories. Sweet memories. Oh, what joy, oh, what joy they bring to me. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. I don't know if I can get it now. I'll try. I will try one. They, they twisted my arm and talked me into his brother, Tom. Right. But before I do, I'm on most of you. Some of you probably know us, but most, some of you don't. So I'm going to introduce the group here. And uh, over here on my left, playing the Five Strain Rangers, Mr. Terry Riles from uh, Bucks know it over here, and uh, he ain't too far away, so he'd be like he be like George. He can throw rocks at you here, brother Tom, if you don't get it. And over here on my right, the mouthpiece I always call her. She run, constantly running that mouth all the time, and but she can't help it. She's born that way. <laughs> <laughs> She's born that way. It's Melody Johnson, let's give Melody a hand on. Me. Yeah. From Hickman County, believe it or not. I was born and raised in Hickman County. I ain't going to talk about my county too much, but I feel sorry for the only thing I said about it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the little lady playing the guitar thinks she's my boss, but she's a long ways from it, Brother Tommy. And uh, I want to tell you this before I say anything. I turned my back while I go, and doggone if her and Brother Tommy wasn't sitting on the front <laughs> row together. I can't turn my back no time. I, they're together. That's says Phyllis Warren. I'm Clebert Warren. We make up harvest time. And, uh, and, and thank uh, you for having us. Uh, yeah, thank y'all. Thank you for having us down here. Uh, oh, Butterworth, I see he didn't bring no rocks in, so I got it made for a little while anyway. All right, we got to do it. We're going to let him oh. sing one, y'all. <laughs> Oh, oh, I done forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, all right, here we go. What's my soul was a stray from that heavenly way and was red and vile as could be. But my Savior above gave me peace, joy, and love. When he reached down his hand for me When my Savior reached down for me When he reached way down for me I was lost and I'm done without God or his son when my Savior reached down for me
was near in despair when he came to me there and he showed me that I could be free then he lifted my feet gave me joy complete when he reached down his hand for me when my Savior reached down I'll keep clapping like that. I might try another now directly. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do an up tempo one here and hallelujah, I'm ready. In the darkness of night, not a star was the highway that leads down below. Came in and saved my soul. Hallelujah, I'm ready to go. Hallelujah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hallelujah, I can hear the Lord singing softly low. Hallelujah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, I'm ready to go. Wait until it's too late He's a wonderful Savior you know Well, I fell on my knees And he answered my feet Hallelujah, I'm ready to go Hallelujah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Of people, but they're they're very appreciative, and I man, we appreciate that. Yes, appreciate sir. the applause. You want to uh, do that uh, darkest hour? Yeah. That what? Darkest hour. <clears throat> That's what I thought. You I tell you what, these women. Mm. Me and Terry, look what we got to put up with. That's why he should be quiet. And Lawrence. Terry kicks it off. Terry kicks it off.
darkest hour is just before dawn. If I can get all this unscrambled here, let me say, first of all, I really appreciate harvest time. You know, I before long before homecoming, I've been praying the Lord would lay a group of folks. I know a few singers on my heart. He laid y'all on my heart. They fit in, amen, they fit in good at homecoming services, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Let me make a few announcements here. Anyone lose a key? I found this in the parking lot. It looks like a household key, and it's made it Lowe's. Number 99, what of all that means? There's a key, so if you can't get in your house, you might try this one. Is that fair? I'm going to lay it right there, okay? Uh, also, let me just read a, a few cards that came our way. You know, we placed at rest on Friday, Brother uh, Jim Proctor. We received this card. It said, uh, thanks for people like you who show they care. Uh, dear Brother Tommy, I want to say I enjoyed the fellowship during Brother uh, Proctor's service. Thanks to all the women who prepared the food. It was great. I asked if they were going to prepare breakfast. If so, I was going to sort of hang around. You could feel the Christian love from everyone here at your church. Let the Proctor family know we're praying for them. If we can be of any uh, service to you, uh, feel free to call us at any time. Humphreys County Funeral Home, uh, Brother Freddie Cruz. And then he puts a little P.S., Vet to vet, thanks for your service. He's a veteran, uh, Brother Freddie, uh, you know. Okay, then we've got uh, another couple of cards here. It says, uh, let's see if I can get that all open. Here we go. Uh, Dear church family, and Brother Tommy especially, I want to thank you so much for being there when we needed you. Keep preaching the good news. Uh, then he went on to say thanks to all of our brothers and sisters at church. For all your prayers uh, were kept by the power of God uh, through faith in Jesus Christ. May God continue to save the lost and backslidden is our prayers. Thank everyone so much for the uh, hospitality, opening of the church to our church family and to our family. We're very grateful and very appreciative. Yours in Christ, the Todd fa uh, Proctor family. Those were the cards that we uh, got here this week. Let me just remind you, that immediately following the singing here in a little while, uh, we'll have lunch downstairs and we hope everyone will stay for a little while and uh, we don't have a night service, so be sure to keep that in mind. Uh, no night service tonight. Also remember prayer meeting Wednesday evening at 6.30. I hope you'll be faithful uh, to that. And then next Sunday is a special day, it's Father's Day. And we always have a, something special for all the fathers at Father's Day and 
I'm telling you, there'll be no exception uh, this coming Sunday, the 17th. So be sure to keep that in mind uh, uh, if you would. Um, at this time, we want to receive our morning tithes. Now, Brother Larry, would you come and let's see. Uh, Brother George, help us with offering. No, wait a minute. Phillip's back there. Phillip, you come on up here. I didn't see you earlier. Well, I didn't see you there. Come up here and help us out here. Okay. Let's go to the Lord in prayer and ask God's blessings on the, our morning tithes and offerings this morning. Uh, Brother Jimmy Brown, would you bless our morning tithes and offerings? Thank you, Carl, from the Todd family. There's a nice little check for the use of the church. Uh, they wanted me to be sure to announce that, and I thought that was awful uh, kind and generous uh, of the, uh, uh, the family, you know. It's awful quiet with uh, Judy not playing up here, Linda, isn't it? <laughs> That's a quiet, we're taking a quiet offering this morning. <laughs> you, know, you might make it, Linda, if you huh? Jimmy, come up here and get us another song ready, another congregation ready. You know, homecoming, we ain't got to be in no hurry. We're just sort of impromptu today, and uh, we sort of put you on the spur of the minute, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Can't go, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Can't go wrong there, can you, Jim?
If you have your Bibles this morning, turn with me for a few minutes. We want to have a little devotional thought from the Word of God. Uh, this morning we want to share a little thought with you from Gospel according to St. John chapter 17. If you have your Bibles. And I want to share a little thought with you just before our uh, singers come back to sing. Concerning the church. Important. You know, we've been preaching here recently in relationship to the church. You know, the church is worldwide. Every born-again child of God, east, west, north, and south, that know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. They've experienced what we call the new birth. That makes them part of church universal. We're part of the local church assembly here at First Free Will Baptist Church. But Jesus says here in verse 21 of John 17, uh, that they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I'm in thee. That they also may be one in us that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them that they may be one even as we are one. I in them and thou in me that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and uh, hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundations of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath made known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith uh, thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Let's pray. Father, thank you this morning for already, for the sweet spirit of fellowship that we felt in this place. Just a brief, quick reminisce. I, I thought about what the folks from the funeral home wrote, and I could certainly agree with that. There was sweet kindred spirit throughout the funeral service as well as at the cemetery. Also the wonderful, wonderful uh, meal that the, our families here, ladies mostly had prepared. It was a, if you had to send someone away and they had not walked through the door of death, I guess and I suppose you couldn't send anyone away any better than Brother Jim was placed at rest out there beside his little house on Ridge Road. We're thankful for all those that made it possible. Now, as we take a few minutes this morning and just share a devotional thought, we pray, dear Lord, that you would uh, bless the singers. will be sh shortly coming this way. Bless, use them. We just appreciate them so much. We appreciate them because they're, they love the Lord. They're anchored in their churches, and, and they love to sing the praises of the Lord. It don't take you long to know that, and we're grateful for that. Bless our hearts together now, and we'll thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, all born-again children of God experience what is called a new birth. Jesus talked about this in John chapter 3. But you know, when I, when I think of the church and what Jesus is saying here, I think of homecoming. You know, we've all come together today uh, you know, some from other areas, some from some other places perhaps, but we've all come together to, to worship the Lord. We've all come together to fellowship uh, one with another. We've all come together to break bread one with another. But you know, there's coming a day. If you've made peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ, we call it homecoming. There's going to be a great home going. You know, it'll either be through the door of death or at the rapture of the church. Either way, if you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you're a winner. And think about this. You know, to, to be united, that means we're all on the same team. And that just simply means every one of us that are saved, we have the same Spirit, the Holy Spirit. The moment that we make peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ, we invite Jesus Christ into our heart, but we know that he sits at the right hand of God the Father where he ever lived to make intercession for us. So it's a wonderful comforter. It's the Holy Spirit that comes into our heart. And that same Spirit 
that come into my heart when I got saved. It's the same spirit that came into your heart when you got saved. And that's what Jesus is talking about. We're united. We're all one. We're all on the same team. We all have the same spirit. We all have the same purpose. And that is to go home to be with the Lord when this life is over. Where we'll never come. This is the worst world we'll ever know is the world that we're living in presently. And we've got a beautiful and wonderful place designed by our Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, that awaits us in a beautiful place called heaven. So to be united, that means we're all on the same team. Uh, you know, to be united, it seems something else. We're all in the same family. Do you know that? I, I, my name's Street. I come from down east of North Carolina. And many of you got different names and you come from different areas, perhaps. But when you get technical and get right down to the bottom line, all of us are children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. We're all united uh, as one, all in the same family of God. That tells me something. That means, you know, when that great home going comes, that means, you know, there'll be no big eyes and little U's in heaven. We'll all get to go. Amen. And the wonderful thing is we, we'll never experience the troubles, trials, and tribulations that we've gone through in this present life. When I think of all the funerals, I've buried over 300 people in 50 years. That's a lot of death. I went to West Virginia some years ago. We built a new church. And somebody called me the prophet of doom. Seemed like half my church died the first year I was there. Honest, I didn't have nothing to do with that. They were just old, and I guess time, their time had come, uh, you know. But the good thing is we're all united, all united and in the same family, and all united, and we're going to go to the same place. Think about that. Somewhere beyond this present life that we live, somewhere beyond the realm of this present life, there is a beautiful place that God has prepared for his children. I've never been there, but I've read about it, and I like what I read. And I've seen some beautiful places in the years that We've been on this earth and been privileged to see the ocean, the mountain, many beautiful things. Some just almost breathtaking. But I can only just visualize and imagine how beautiful heaven must be. You know, we sing that old song. Well, glory, how beautiful heaven must be. I can't even, I don't have enough adjectives to describe the beauty of that wonderful place that God has prepared uh, for his children. You know, here in this passage of Scripture that I read, Jesus in verse 20 here, uh, notice what he does. He prays for his church. He says in verse 20, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also that shall believe on me through thy word. Every person that believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and has confessed their sins, that makes you a part of the family of God. And that's what he is talking about here. Uh, you know, as God's children, we all receive the same benefits. I like that. Man, I've worked hard for the Lord all these years. Oh, Lord. But you know what? You get the same benefits I do. Eternal life, a home in heaven, where we'll never come back to this world again. I think that's a wonderful thing just to even think about. It. Verse 23, Jesus says, I in them and thou in me. How wonderful. Now stop and just briefly think. Only the Spirit of God can accomplish that. You know, the unity, the harmony that exists between the Father and the Son is the unity that exists between the Son and the believer. Boy, that's a wonderful thing. And the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, verse 23 is a, is a passage there that boggles my mind. The Bible says in verse 23, And hast loved them as thou hast loved me, which means God loves you as much as he loved the Lord Jesus Christ. Think about that. You know how I know that? Because the Bible tells us that. If you want to know an answer to that, just go to John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal or everlasting life. That's the answer. For God so loved the world not just the folks here in McEwen or the folks at Dixon or folks in the state of Tennessee or, or America, worldwide. For God so loved the whole wide wicked world, see, that he gave the very best that heaven had to offer. Angel couldn't do it. 
great people of God like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they couldn't do it. Some of the great kings in the old covenant of God's word like David and others, they couldn't do it. God reached back somewhere in that great celestial place and called his son forward and said, Son, I have a job for you to do. Jesus Christ willingly, obediently, submissively came, sped down through the universe, past stars, moon, sun, the whole nine yards, and came in the form of a babe in Bethlehem, grew up, and then spent three years performing miracles, getting folks to see what he had to offer, which was a home in heaven beyond this life. That's a wonderful thing. It's mind-boggling. The last things he mentions here is in verse 23, that his love might be in our hearts and in our lives. I've said so many times, the best way that people will, will know whether you love one another or not is how you treat them. You, you know, the Apostle Paul said that we are living epistles or living letters read of all men. See? And, and if we conduct our lives as God would instruct us to conduct our lives according to the grand old book of heaven, people will see Christ in our lives and desire what you and I, I have, you know. Uh, after all, let's stop and think. We're all on the same team. We're all indwelled by the same Holy Spirit. We all have the same purpose, and that is just simply to uh, go as one family when this life comes to a, a close to go home to be with the Lord. So today is homecoming. We've all uh, came today uh, to enjoy what we've experienced many, many years ago. But one day we're going to have what we call a home going. We're going to our eternal home to live forever uh, with the Lord. And here's the most wonderful thing. You know what? I love y'all. And I really mean that. I love y'all in the Lord. But we're going to one day the rapture, might, the trump might sound, the rapture might take place, and all God's children can leave this old world and go to that upper and that better place. If you want to know somebody who really loves the Lord, Bubba, hold that baby up. That baby's having a good time back there. Listen, that baby's enjoying the preaching back. Look back at that baby. Ain't that a pretty thing? Hey, Amen. I love children. And, and she'd be back there just laughing and having the best time. Back. So some, everybody looks sort of grim, you know. <laughs> that baby's back there having a good time. So I, I got somebody on my side back there, but I sure have, you know. And I said all that to say this. May I ask you, are you saved? Number two, know that you're saved and prepared to go to heaven. Let's bow our heads for prayer. I'm not going to ask for the song leading the pianist, but if you're here this morning, Listen, the altar is open for invitational time. Remember what was said. We, we, you know, we're all children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. Same spirit, same purpose. We all get to go to the same heaven. If you know the Lord Jesus Christ, do you know him this morning? If not, we invite you to come. Would there be one person that will make that journey, this altar of prayer that needs the Lord? Father, no one came this morning, so we would assume that Everyone's where they want to be with you, and we're grateful for that. I hope they picked up on the little thought. I come out of eastern North Carolina many years ago, long ways from here, but I've met people all, all, just about all over America, and they're part of my spiritual family. One day, they had the same purpose in mind. That's a home in heaven, and that's where we desire to go. Bless us now through the remaining part of this service. We thank you so much for the... Uh, our good singers, Harvest Time. <clears throat> they love the Lord. And I pray that you would bless them as they share some more songs with us leading up to our noon hour and lunch. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Y'all come on up here and just tell you what you do. Come on up and make yourself at home. Is that fair enough? <laughs> After all, remember we're all part of the same family.
while we're getting started, I want to say this on no butter word. He went in the bank the other day, him and his wife, and and uh, there's a guy in there robbing the bank. You know, I told you he's a chicken a while ago. He went in there, and the guy was robbing the bank, and uh, Tiller got, got after him, and the guy shot him and killed him. And he looked over at this other guy and said, did you see me kill that guy? And that guy said, yeah, I did. And uh, he shot and killed him. And uh, he looked at Butterworth, said, you see me shoot that guy? Butterworth said, no, I didn't, but my wife did. (laughs) 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 Oh, how did he get you on that? What are you going to do? Hey, uh, I'll meet you in church Sunday morning. All right. On Sunday when the church Sunday morning and we all journey home I'm not afraid 
to bid this world goodbye. Not afraid to close my eyes and die for this curse I have in his arms. I'm not When I cross that sign of the sea Where the harbor might beckon me I'll feel no pain I'll feel no safe
Thank you. That's what I meant to do, Lord. Wow. House of Gold. Uh, let's try that one. I got to do that when I did the darkest hour. That's what threw everybody off. Yeah. She she owned up to it, Brother Tommy. She owned up. I'm not remembering things too good. <laughs> it makes all of us. <laughs>
Thank you. I don't know if you want to stop about that. Thank you. Thank you. It's been sitting a while, so I tell you what, why don't we just all stand up and we'll sing I'll Fly Away. If you want to hug your neighbor or shake hands with them, that's good too. Just get a little uh, movement around here. Be sure to sing with us. y'all to death. Ain't 
when this life is over I'll fly away to our home on God's blessed shore Feel something that time yeah. you didn't have anything, did you? Whoo, you can be seated. Uh, What's well, it getting about closing yeah. time, man? Eh? Twelve. You want to do the mansion over the hilltop? Yeah, all right. Why? Yeah, that's the nice song. Why? Ask a show and farewell. All yeah. right. Uh, we want to thank uh, Mike for setting up everything for us and being so kind to us because we're getting old, don't you see? And <laughs> I'm not supposed to be lifting anything just yet. So I, I really, Mike, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you, Mike. it.
Is that the kind of fiddle tune he was looking for? Oh, okay. I didn't hear mansion over the hill top in E. Mansion. Over. <laughs> Thank you. try to do keep on the firing line and if I if I run out of words y'all just keep singing <laughs>
If you're in the battle for the Lord and right, keep on the fighting line. If you win the victory, brother, you must fight, keep on the firing line. There are many battles that we all must face. If we die fighting, it is no disgrace. Cowards in the service cannot find a place, so oh, keep on the firing line. Oh, you must fight, be brave against all evil, never run or even lag behind. If you must win for God in the right, just keep on. When we get to heaven, we shall be so glad. Keep on the firing line. We shall praise the Savior for the call we had. Keep on the firing line. We'll be joy to meet the those we've helped to save. Those we left to Jesus from the path of faith. Hear their welcome parted and go marching in. Oh, keep on the firing line. Oh, you must fight, be brave against all evil. Never run or even lag behind. If you must win for God in the right, just keep on the firing line. Against all evil, never run or even lag behind. If you must win for God in the right, just keep on the firing line. If you must win for God in the right, just keep on the firing line. Okay, okay, brother Tommy. Turn it over to you, Brother Tom. Brother Cleveland, look at here. I want to help you out just a little bit. Okay. Now, see, you accused me of sitting beside your wife. Yeah. Well, you, you ain't got to worry because, see, I went to the doctor. He gave me a good report when I got ready to leave. I said, Doc, look on that screen and see if you can find me a widow lady about my age. He said, Mr. Street, your age, all of them either dead in a nursing home. <laughs> so I... So there ain't no hope. They're all dead in the nursing home. <laughs> I just, I had some fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what, don't clap now. Wait a minute. <laughs> With a grand wedding. Yeah, you got, listen, Sue and Kay, there's homecoming, and these folks remind you of anything. Remember when y'all came up and seen me over 30 years ago in Illinois? You and Doug and Sue and Snooks, I think Tony, all the others came. Y'all remember that? And that's when that fella came out of a horse in Surrey, all it, went around and gathered up all them widow ladies. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I, I, I spent a long time. I remember getting 35, 40 years ago. Yeah, I had hair and teeth back then. <laughs> oh, Lord, yeah. Well, we're going to be dismissed, and we'd like for uh, our singers, if you would go ahead to the back. Y'all got to load up your instruments after a while. Y'all go ahead to the back, and we'll let you get to the head of the line. And some of our elderly folks, some of our elderly folks would like to go First, go ahead. Uh, I'm older than Dirk, can I go? Yes, sir. Yeah, you're older. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, let some of our, Sister Lola, what about you? Some of the older folks can go if they'd like to. But so, the problem is some just ain't telling. That's what the truth. Well, we want to bless our, our meal downstairs. If you have a few minutes, stop. If you don't do them, walk through and get a cup of coffee. Let me enjoy a little fellowship. I don't know about y'all. I've enjoyed the... Uh, harvest time. I've enjoyed y'all. Sister Phyllis, they don't know this, but she had heart surgery in March. 
at open heart surgery, but she's doing, doing well, you know. Let's stand and ask God's blessings on our meal downstairs. And again, there'll be no night service. Hope to see you, of course, come Wednesday night. Uh, Brother Jeremy, lead us in prayer, if you would, brother. Bless our food. Jeremy, Father, just thank you for the harvest coming here today. Just thank you for the harvest coming here today. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. 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 Thank you for being here today, and thank you for helping us have a good homecoming.